I have opened the scene here and we are going to start with the cloth simulation in Unreal Engine 5.6. You can apply these concepts and fundas in 5.5 and 5.4 as well. Let's start now. Uh, before starting, I want to show you two things. I have basically imported this uh, texture here, which is a flag texture. As you guys can see, I have generated with the help of AI. And in Photoshop, I created an opacity mask here, which you can see of a white color. So I can get the mask only. I can so I can only get the mask um, flag here. So let's start now. You can apply it with uh, any cloth that you want. It can be a square cloth. It can be a cloth like this flag. It can be curtains as well. So you can import. Uh, you can use this cloth simulation with any flag that you want. Any cloth that you want. Okay. Let's start now. We are going to start with a plane here. I am going to go to modeling here. Now I am not going to use the simple plane because it is not going to have the UVs. I want the UVs here in order to get that shape perfectly. So I am going to go to create here and I am going to click on rectangle and I am just going to click here and I am going to move it upwards here and rotate it here in 90 degrees something like this. Okay. Now, if you see my flag here, if I open this image, you can see it's a vertical image. So I want my plane to be vertical, not a square here. I am going to increase the depth here and I'm going to increase the width here. Something like this. Okay. Something like this. You can see. Okay. So let's just do something like this and I'm going to move it upwards here. Okay. Let's just move it upwards. And now you can see this plane here. I'm going to click on accept and my plane is ready. Now let's just create a mask material. Let's just right click and create on material and we are going to name it to cloth mask. And I'm going to apply this to our plane here. Now let's just double click and open our material here. And I'm going to drag and drop this two textures here, which is color and my opacity map. And I'm going to drag and drop it here as well. Now it's really easy. First, you need to add your base color to your uh, texture sample here. And now you need to add this to your opacity mask. But if I maximize this and zoom it here, you can see opacity mask is by default turn off. So you need to turn it on. Just click on your material and here from blend mode opaque, switch it to mask. And now you can see we have this opacity mask and just connect your RGB to your opacity mask here. And now in order to preview it, we are going to switch to plane preview. And now you can see this result. Okay. So let me just show you without this. You can see we have this white borders here. And with this, you can see we get this opaque result, which is a mask result. So we want this. Let's just save this and let's just close this. And now you can see it's looking something like this. So First thing I noticed that the texture is rotated. So let's just do the UVs here only. Just go to your UV and just transform the UVs here. Just click here. Okay. And now just rotate it like this. Okay. Something like this here. And now we are going to move it here. And now I need to rescale it as well. So let's just do here. And you can turn off the snap as well in the both axis in the, your uh, uh, move and uh, scale here. Okay, let's just move it here. Okay, now you can see our plane is bigger here. So let's just do something like this. So now you can see it's looking good. Okay, let's just hide it somewhat here and let's just make it somewhat bigger. Yeah, this is looking good. Let's just accept this here. And now if I switch to my wireframe mode, so let's just go to lit and switch to wireframe mode. Okay, just give it a second guys. And now you can see we don't have any segment. So if you remember from our displacement uh, chapter, you need to have segments in order to get that details. Okay. Same goes for cloth. In order to get the cloth simulation work beautifully, you need to add the segments to the plane. Now we are not going to use the displace modifier here. We are going to go to lit again and we are going to remesh this. So just go to your mesh and just click on remesh as soon as you do it you can see now we have this uh triangles here which is going to add some more mesh so we if i go to again wireframe you can see we have added this mesh now 5000 is way too much i generally keep it around 1500 to 2500 depending on the details and the close-up that i'm going for so let's just do 2000 here and let's just click on accept and now we are going to switch again from wireframe to lit and now you can see we have the segments here. 
Now, in order to simulate the cloth here in Unreal Engine, you need to convert it to a skeleton mesh. So, if you are using animation in Unreal Engine, character animation, you know that you need to have the skeleton in order to animate the objects in Unreal Engine. So, let's just do that. I'm going to open my location here. I'm going to rename this to, let's say, Rebel Flag. Okay. Then just double click it here. I'm going to apply the material that we have created as well. So open the uh, location here and just drag and drop your material here or you can just replace it as well. So now you can see we have this material here. We are ready to now convert it to skeleton mesh. So just save your scene. Okay. Now open the location of the flag, rebel flag, right click here and convert to skeletal mesh. Don't change anything. You don't need to worry about anything here. Just click on convert. So now if I open my content drawer, you can see we have two more parameters here. One is skeletal and one is skeletal mesh. So we are going to work with skeletal mesh here. Now we are not going to use this because when I am going to simulate this, it is not going to work because this is a static mesh if you remember. So let's just delete it out and let's just double click it here. Okay. First we are going to set the simulation here. And then we are going to drag and drop so we can work it easily. So let's just uh, um, maximize this. We are going to go upwards here. Now in order to move this, you need to select the root here. Just select the root. First, let's just rotate it to 90 degrees so we can see here. And now let's just move it upwards here. So let's just uh, click on the root and let's just move it upwards. Okay, great. Now. In order to simulate the cloth effect here, right click first. Now create a clothing data from selection. So we need to tell Unreal Engine that this is going to work as a cloth. So just create clothing date, clothing data from selection and just click on create. And now just apply it again. So right click and apply clothing data and just select. Now as soon as you do it, you cannot see any changes that have been made. But in order to simulate the cloth effect, you need to tell Unreal that this is going to be my uh, area which is going to be get affected by wind and this is going to be my area which is going to remain static. So if you have a curtain at home, you know that uh, upper part is static and the lower part is moving. So we need to tell Unreal that this is a static part. So how you can tell it, you can just click on activate cloth paint here. And here you need to select this. And as soon as you do it, you can see this here. So let's just take it here and we are going to reduce the brush size here. So let's just reduce the brush size to let's say somewhere around radius to let's say 32. Okay. And now just paint the area that you want to uh, have the cloth effect. So let's just do something like this here. You can do it roughly as you want. This is done. Let's just close this. And in order to see this, we need to again click on activate cloth paint. And now you can see, we can see the wind animation here. You can change the wind animation, wind speed as well. But I'm going to show it in viewport because this is just a preview here. Let's just close this. We can see it's working beautifully. And now let's just go to content drawer. Let's just drag and drop it here. And I'm going to move it upwards. Let's just rotate it here. Now you can see there is lots of lot of shine here in the flag. So I'm going to reduce the specular and roughness because if I press the control L key and if I go here, you can see the, my map is really having that shine and I don't want that. So let's just open the material here by double clicking and let's just reduce the specular to 0.1 and let's just take the roughness to 0.9 because I want a rough flag here and let's just save this out. This is done. Now you can see this is looking nice. And if I press the control L key, you can see the lighting as well. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. And now in order to simulate uh, the flag cloth animation, you need to add the wind as well. So let's just click on create and let's just type wind here and just drag and drop your wind directional source and just take it upwards. So now you can see this is going this direction. And if I click on simulate, you can see we are having wind, but dot not that much. Okay. Now let's say you want your wind to go this direction. You can do it easily. Just rotate your wind direction, something like this in 90 degrees. So you can see the arrow is going this side. Okay. 
I wanted this side. So I'm going to take it 180 degrees and just increase the strength and the speed here to like say three and three. And if I click on play, now you can see we are getting this beautiful flag animation and this is in real time. Okay. And you can stop and play it again as well. You can see the result. Okay. Now let's say if you want to go this direction, you can do that as well. Okay. And if I click on play now, you can see we are getting this beautiful flag animation. Now you can add the pole as well. So just have some uh, reference and model it out or you can have it from the net as well. I have this static mesh here, this pole type of thing which you can see in the jungle. So I'm going to use this only. So I'm going to rescale this to let's say 2. Okay. And let's just do something like this, a spike kind of thing. And I'm going to just take it here. Okay. So I'm going to take one more copy here as well because I want it to be this side as well. So I'm going to rotate the spike here to let's say 180 degree. And now I'm going to take a copy as well, something like this. And I'm going to reduce the size to one. Okay. And let's just move this upwards. So let's just move it something like this. So now you can see we can simulate a, like a flag effect, a pole flag, something like that. Okay. You can make it uh, smaller as well. You can make it bigger as well, depending on the scene that you are working for. Okay. Let's just do something like this and let's just do something like this and you can make it bigger. You got my point, what I'm going to tell you. Okay. And now if I click on simulate, you can see it feels like, okay, this cloth is a part of it. Okay, but it is not colliding here. So in order to collide, you need to add the collision effect. I'm going to show you that in future video. Just let do something like this. Okay, because this is just a beginner video. I'm going to show you how you can do it. But now you can see the result. And if you want, you can move it downwards here as well. And now if I click on simulate, you can feel, okay, this is the flag that it is looking really nice here. Okay, and you can see the result as well. So this is how easy it is to simulate cloth in Unreal Engine. You can create curtains animation. You can create what we say cloth animation. You can create the flag animation as well. Okay. If you want your wind to go this side, just uh, stop the simulation. Okay. Press the G key and just do it something like this here. And if I click on play here, now you can see we are getting this wind here. So now you can uh, move your cloth here, something like this. Okay. So here something like this and here we can take it upwards like this here as well. Okay. So it is going to feel that, okay, this is the part of the cloth. Okay. And you can just rotate this as well. If you want something like this as well. Okay. You can do lots of things, but you can see this is looking really good here. Okay. If I'm doing something like this, it's looking really great and I can move this inwards as well if I want to. So just stop the simulation and then walk. Okay, so something like this here. And now you can say this is looking nice here. Okay, so this is how easy it is to simulate cloth in Unreal Engine. I am going to cover some advanced topics as well where we are going to look at collision. We are going to look at character cloth as well. But in some future videos, I hope you enjoy the day 12 where we learn how you can create the cloth animation in Unreal Engine. I will see you in the next day. And we are going to cover some new topics as well, like uh, foliage tools in Unreal Engine. We are going to create some environment with the help of foliage tool. I'm also going to show you some plugins as well. The dash plugin, how you can create world quickly with the help of dash tools. So I'm going to cover lots of things. And I'm also going to start a series on real time simulation using uh, Jenga FX, which is Ember Gen, uh, Geo Gen and Liquid Gen. So stay tuned for that as well, because I'm going to combine that with Unreal Engine. Uh, I will see you next time. Till then, if you like this video, please press that like button. Share it with your friends who wants to learn Unreal Engine. And subscribe if you haven't done it yet. I will see you next time. Till then, bye-bye. Take care, guys.